Welcome to Diaspora Connect. My name is Wanda Hanford and thank you for um, tuning in today, for viewing my video today. Thank you for all the um, subscribers, the old subscribers or the um, and, and the new ones. So the old subscribers and welcome to the new the subscribers to my channel. Again, this is Diaspora Connect. My name is Wanda. I decided to do a quick video. Um, I'm at home and I came out on the front porch and decided to do a quick video on the porch and because it was still kind of nice out here it felt good felt cool out here see so this is i think i'll face this way see so i don't know that the light is okay like this yeah so let me see uh, I think the light is better this way, yeah. So I wanted to do this quick video, and this is uh, primarily for my um, Tanzanian brothers and sisters. Um, and the question I want to pose to you is, are all uh, Tanzanians or Afri continental Africans the same? So if you're from Ghana, and if you're from Kenya, and if you're from Zambia or Tanzania, are you guys all the same? No. So uh, the reason I ask that question is because for some reason people love to group all uh, so-called African Americans or black Americans the same in the same group that we're all the same. We're all different. We think differently. We look differently. We're different complexions. We were raised differently in different uh, households with different values. So uh, we have different spiritual practices. Um, some of us are Christian, some of us are Muslim, some of us are Israelites or Bantu, uh, some of us are African spiritualists, and some of us are Kemetic, so we're all different. So I just wanted to do this video to say that we're all not the same. So I've noticed that some people are doing videos um, addressing, um, you know, certain groups uh, saying, so for example, if they have an issue with an African American, whether it's a person from Jamaica or wherever they're from, they want to group all of us together and say all African Americans, all black Americans are rude and all black Americans are disrespectful. All black Americans want to come to the continent and colonize the continent. That's not true. That's not true. So I wanted to do this video to let you know that that's not true. We're all not like that. Um, we're all different. Some of us are humble. Some of us are have a little bit of pride. Some of us are gentle and kind and soft-spoken. Some of us are not. Some of us are loud and rude and disrespectful. So it just depends on the individual. And it's not an age range. There's not a particular age range that I can say, oh, from 18 to 25, they're this way, or from 26 to 35, they're this way. No, we're all different. Because uh, I've met people around my age range, middle aged, middle aged, that um, they act very young in the mind, like maybe high school or college age people. So it, uh, so your, you know, so it does. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's just your upbringing and your values that have been instilled in you by your parents as you were growing up, um, which will determine, you know, your the way you act, the way you handle. Um, controversy, the way you handle um, uh, issues is, is different the way you do those things. So I just wanted to do this video so all of the world can know that we're all different. So please don't group us all in one category. Because um, if you are an African from the continent of Africa, if you don't really know us personally, like African Americans or black people, or Negroes, whatever you want to call us, Bantu. If you don't know us personally, then don't just group us all together. If you have some bad encounters with a few, don't group us all and throw us all together and say, you know, all African Americans, they are this, and they complain, and they blah, blah, blah. I hardly ever complain. And um, it has to re be really, really, really extremely bad for me to complain, especially being here on the continent for a year and a half. Uh, you're in three weeks, four, going on four weeks. Um, it has to be something, I mean, I've seen a lot and I really don't complain because I pick and choose my battles. Some stuff is not even worth me even mentioning if, uh, you know, if it's not, sorry about that, if it's not going the way I would like it to go, then to me, it's not even worth me even wasting my energy or my breath or my time, even 
getting frustrated or upset about it, but that's just me. Um, I think at my age, I just, uh, I pick my battles and I also kind of don't sweat the small stuff. Some stuff is very small to me and it's, it's, it's insignificant and not very important to complain about. For example, the lights out, you know, I'm used to that. You know, it might have uh, little issues with hot water or whatever the case might be. I, stuff like that, I don't even think about now. It's just, I just work around it. I, I have workarounds for almost everything that I have encountered here. So I don't throw a tantrum and I don't get upset. Uh, if, you know, uh, if I go places and things don't work out, if they have, if I go to a restaurant and the meals aren't right or then, you know, if, if I can't, if there's a communication barrier and I don't get what I want, I just, for me, I just eat whatever I get. That's basically it. Unless I'm not a vegan, so it's not that big of a deal for me. But um, I just pick my battles. And like I said, so um, everybody is different. So please, 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 everyone, um, diaspora as well as continental Africans, let us love each other. Let us get along. Let us be kind to one another. Let us be loving to one another. Let us get to know each other. Because really, at the end of the day, it's not a competition between Africans. It's a, it's a competition between us and the other nations because we are one actually we just look we look all we look alike we just speak different languages and we're from different places we've been dispersed okay so we're all African but we just come from different places so let us not beef with one another let us not fall out with one another let us not argue and and over little stuff that's not that's in, insignificant to be honest because we have bigger and more challenges that we have to face like other nations coming to the continent of Africa trying to take over, trying to colonize it. There has never been a time where our intention to come over here is to enslave or, I mean, and to colonize or disrespect our brothers and sisters. I've heard a couple of videos where people have mentioned that about us, and that's not true for all of us. It's never been our intention to come over here. And actually, none of us, are, that's never our intention. We come over here because we want to build with our continental brothers and sisters. Um, that does not mean that we don't have issues, and that does not mean that we're not broken, and that does, does not mean that we don't have some attitude issues or personality issues. Or, I mean, because if you think about it, we've been in a hostile environment, raised in a hostile environment by Mazungu, and they're not the nicest people in the world. And a lot of the values that have been instilled in some of us come from them, the hostility, the anger, the short patientness. A lot of that stuff we have, um, in being in the West, that's just the culture there. So if they come here with that, it's not an intention to deliberately come here just to colonize and be mean and be hateful to people. It's more of a personal issue from from within so it's, it's it's something that they need to deal with and many of them are broken and many of us I say are broken because I'm not perfect myself I have issues um, myself I love my people so my issues stem primarily from with the other nations I, I have to work on that because I, I don't I, I, I struggle I struggle with dealing with people from other nations I really do um, especially Mazungu, I have to admit, I struggle with dealing with them because of our history and because of the lies and because of the murders. So it's it's an issue for me. That's my PTSD or post traumatic slave slip post traumatic slave syndrome is what I call it. So yeah, I just wanted to do this video because it's very important that we get along, that we understand what, what what's going on here, that why are we coming instead of continental Africans wondering why are they coming here. It's a mass exodus and it's out of our control. It's not in our control. All of us woke up at the same time from all around the United States. I've met so many people here from the United States that I didn't even know there. It's just unbelievable. I've met people from the UK, from Canada, from Jamaica, all African people have come waking up out of their sleep. It's like we were in, a, in the matrix or in a sleep slumberish type of a place and then all of a sudden we woke up it's like our eyes were opened up and we now see the bugs are biting me so I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm about to go in in a little while but um, mosquitoes mosquitoes are biting <laughs> So, um, but we've all awakened to the truth about who we are and, and we all desire to come back home to the place where we were, were originated from. So that's why we're coming back. Unfortunately, we don't have a place that we can say it's our home so, 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 even when we do the DNA test and we say that we can be linked to certain tribes and villages and areas that's still not our home because we're still considered foreigners. But um, we do understand that, and that can't change right now. I think it's a gradual process. And at the end of the day, the, 
the uncreated creator is going to make it right with everyone. I mean, we shouldn't try so hard to force something that is not there. Um, it's okay for me to be called a foreigner. I know who I am and where I come from. I know that I'm African. So it's okay because I have a U.S. passport that people call me a foreigner. It's okay. I don't have a problem with that because I know at the end of the day, the most high, uncreated, created, the almighty, Yah, is going to make things right. He's going to put things back into the correct perspective. So we can just be patient and not stress about it, not argue about it and have issues and dis, dis, um, disagreements uh, in, about, you know, stuff like that. But the thing, the point that I'm trying to make is let's, let us love each other. Let us uh, accept each other for our differences. I respect your culture. You respect who I am as an individual. Um, and let's, let's, let's do this thing together. Let's put, let's have the two sticks to come together and let's build the continent of Africa together. Cause we need each other at the end of the day, we all branch and we stem from here. You know, we are, we are the original branches. So we all stem from the continent. Okay. So let's not hate each other because that's self hate. Let's not do that. Let's not be divisive against one another. Let's come together and work together. We can always look for reasons not to get along reasons to not like each other we can always look for that and it's easy but let's 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 decide let's make a conscious decision even when other people are divisive and being negative and saying uh this hurtful thing this hurt for hurting hurtful or disheartening things about each other let us speak up and say let's let's keep let us try to keep the peace and let us try to work together um different cultures different languages different views on things so let us be okay with that and let us just move forward together let us pull our resources together our intellectual resources our physical monies our our land our whatever together and build so other nations won't come in and take over because their countries are being destroyed they're under judgment right now so they're gonna be running here so we have to get it together uh, diaspora and continental Africans we have to get it together we have to snap out of this mind control and brainwashing hateful thing towards each other we got to wake up because it's getting to a point where it's going to be so many foreigners flooding this country. It's going to be ridiculous because their lands are destroyed and their crops and everything is being washed away by the floods. Okay. And then the plagues are coming to them too. So they're going to be coming here. So let us, let us, let us work on our relationships. Let us get it together and put one another first. So when everybody else comes over here, we'll be building together. And another thing I wanted to mention is most of the diaspora come here to give back to locals. Like we, we spend money with locals. Other, other um, nations don't do that. Like Mazungus and Indians and Arabs, they, they get money and they take it back to their country we're not trying to do that we're not trying to get money here and take it back to america and the resources um now we may look to try to sell things you know like moss or or fruit vegetables you know shipping and gold or something but um but that's for money to to um put back in this economy here it's not to get the money to take it back to the west so please keep that in mind even when you have your uh issues with us as diaspora um being foreigners in your land keep in mind that we're here for you we're here to help you grow to help the continent rise we're not here to destroy or tear down or colonize or take over we're here to love you we're here to build it up we're trying to get to know you and we're here to pull back together what was pulled apart because we were pulled apart forcefully without without our consent so now we're here to try to pull it back together and it is difficult but somebody has to start somewhere. We have to stop arguing and beefing with each other about differences. At the end of the day, we're all Africans. You can look at me and tell I'm African. Yes, I was born and raised in America, but you can tell that I'm an African. No, I don't speak the language perfectly like I need to, but I'm working on it. Kidogo, kidogo, poli, poli. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to share. This was on my heart, and I wanted to share it with you, especially the continental Africans. It is very important that you get to understand it and get to know us for ourselves personally. Don't don't just jump on the bandwagon with others when they get talking um, saying like ugly stuff about us or negative things about us yes we got issues I will admit we're not perfect but we all do nobody's perfect you know he that is without sin let him cast the first stone you know what I mean so okay so let's just keep that in mind and let's just build together because when those other nations come we are gonna have to be a force a fortress to, to keep you know to keep and hold on to everything because they're gonna be trying to take 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 so if we are fighting each other then that's a uh, that's a weak link 
It's like to divide us, divide and conquer. We can't keep allowing them to do us like this. We have to come together. We have to decide to do that. We can't wait for them to decide to be a mediator between us. No, let's not do that. Okay, we're far beyond that. All right, so I'm going to end this video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your viewership. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all my old subscribers. And I will come back to you and do another live soon in a couple of days, okay? Okay, well, I talk to you again and see you in the next video. Goodbye.